Hi, I'm Teddy Burris, your Google Workspace and Gmail strategist, trainer, and coach. And the question I'm going to answer today is, in regards to privacy, how secure are Google Docs? This is an important question, and I have the answer. But before I share with you the answers, hit that subscribe button, because I have a whole lot more videos coming out on how to use Google Workspace and Gmail as business tools. I've been using Gmail since probably around 2004, 2005. I've been using Google Workspace uh, as a business tool since 2011. Now, I remember in 2011 talking with someone about Google Workspace and there was a university back in 2011 that they set up their default Google Drive so that every document was publicly accessible. Now the problem with this is that when you do that, your documents could show up in Google searches. So you've, the privacy statement, if you go look at the Google privacy statement, which terms and policy, and Google privacy policy. Well, it's a big statement. It's a whole lot of information in here. First and foremost, you'll notice that when Google talks about privacy, they start with what you are doing to manage your privacy, your own privacy controls, sharing your, your information, keeping your information secure. It all starts with you. The Google policy is pretty clear. They're not going to give away your documents. They're not going to make your content accessible to the public. They're not reselling your content. That's not what they're doing. What the privacy is statements mostly focus on are what are you doing to make your content secure. So let me show you a few mistakes that I see people make all the time. First of all, you'll notice on my drive, there's no share button. If I click on my drive, I can't share a whole my drive. I can only share folders within my drive. So which is pretty powerful. Google knows there's no reason for you to share your entire drive. Now I can come down here to this uh, folder right here, right click on it and hit the share button. And I can, you see it's restricted. Only certain people have access to it, which for first and foremost is me, unless I add other email addresses up here, typically a Gmail email address or a Google account email address. But if I come down here, change to any one of the link, anyone on the internet now has access to this entire folder. Now that's okay if that's what you want to do. Typically, that's not what we do. Got to change that back and make it restricted. Now, by the way, I can make that even worse than that. I can any one of the link, and I can make them not only a viewer, but I can make them an editor. I can let open up that folder and let anybody do with it whatever they want. Add new documents, edit the documents, delete the documents, rename the documents. That is dangerous. Again, unless that's what you want to do. So I'm not interested in doing that on this folder. On this folder, I need to keep it totally restricted. So the only person who has access to it is me right now. Now that's the big, the most uh, powerful way to share or open up privacy to your content is to share a folder. Now let's go a little deeper. Deeper. If I go a little deeper, let's go to uh, uh, documents. So here's a document. Now from this document, either from here or from here, over here is the share button. I can make this document, this single document, accessible to whoever I want it to be accessible to. I can either make it anyone on the internet with the link. I can change this and say, you know, take it back to restricted so that no one can get to it except for me or those who I share it to directly. So this, do this document is no longer accessible. You can see the lock on it, private only to me. But again, click on that. I can change it. I can say anyone on the internet with the link, I can turn that back on, I can make them a viewer, a commenter, or an editor. Again, move them to editor, anyone on the internet, that makes that document as vulnerable as you can make it. You totally lost all privacy to that document when you make them an editor. So again, I'm, I'm not interested in doing this, actually I am on for this in this context, but again, do create the privacy and sharing on each individual document, sheet, form, slide, et cetera, et cetera, as you want one document at a time, unless there is a specific reason for you to make a specific folder shareable to others as well. 
Again, the privacy of your Google Documents, sheets, uh, uh, slides, et cetera, et cetera, is managed by you when you hit that, sh that um, share button and you change and uh, unrestrict the access to your documents. By the way, if you share this document with somebody, you know, if I share it with Teddy Burris, and I say, you know, dude, look at this, then I need to make a decision. Do I want him to be an editor, or do I want him to be a viewer or a commenter? So even sharing with individuals, you have to be careful because maybe you don't want to share that individual, but for a short period of time. So you make them an editor or commenter or a viewer. And then when you're done, I'm going to uh, send this. And then when you're done, you go back to that document, go to share again. I, I just simply right clicked and clicked on share. And then I can see I shared it with Teddy Burris. Now I want to remove it. So I want to remove that document so he doesn't have access to it anymore. And then I save this. So be very purposeful, folder by folder, most specifically, and document by document, who you share it with and what permissions you give them. That is how you manage your privacy on your Google Docs, first and foremost. Because again, if you go read the, uh, the terms and policies and you read the, the privacy statement, Google's not making your stuff accessible. You are or you are not. So real quick, I want to show you the difference between Google Workspace and Gmail in the context of your document and your folder privacy. So here's a test document I've got right here. If I click to share, you'll see the only variation I have for sharing. I can put an individual's name there, keep it just for Teddy, or I can come down here and I can say, share it with everyone in my company. Again, view, comment, or edit. And just as I have with Gmail, I can share with anyone with, on, on the internet who has the link, view, comment, or edit. The only difference is that I can share it directly with my company domain or everybody in my company. So, and then let's go look at one more thing. The same thing with folders. If I share a folder under my drive, here's my drive, right click on that folder, hit share, Okay, same functionality, share it with individuals, keep it with myself, or share it with everybody in the company, give them access to this folder so they can view, comment, or edit in the folder, including everything in that folder, every document and spreadsheet and slide, et cetera, et cetera, is in there, or just as I have in Gmail, anyone with the internet, and again, view, comment, or edit on this entire folder and everything in this folder. So it's the only difference on Google Workspace versus Gmail is I can share it with everybody in my company. I'm Teddy Burris, your Google Workspace and Gmail strategist, trainer, and coach, and I hope this is very helpful for you.